I'm fucking disgusted because you have you have people, ne? Ekbeni, umuntu akona decides uguti bawa They wake up. They wake up. They get on social media. They wake up, and they've got a lot to say, you know. And I'm talking specifically about Abantu that sega krende mpilonyaki, you know. Omuntu kwe tu kola i twenty thousand yana. Omuntu akona sega chenge ipiemi. Ochale complexi ni. Omuntu akona now feels from the privilege of space saki in ruyaki oguti they can start writing and talking a whole lot of bullshit you know and nonsense and saying oguti um what is going on is not right yabo um mena look i'm not politically aligned to anybody i am not going to come and start talking Uh, deep into ama politics and all that nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? But it is wrong. It is wrong for where another thing to go to. You've arrived. Uh, you're working wherever, wherever. Uh, you're getting whatever twenty thousand that you are getting. Uh, you are staying wherever that you are staying. Go townhouse nyana. Ten p.m. nyana. And then from there, you want to come. The same very same person. You want to come and <laughs> you want to say uguti. Um, What the fuck is happening on the ground is not cool. Nobody says it's cool. Nobody is condoning looting. Don't get me wrong. Nobody is condoning that. Yeah, bro. But I mean, I've taken it upon myself, Oguti, to talk about those things. You know, because um, I call grand people like this, 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 and this is not about Uzuma anymore. Yeah, bro. This thing has been simmering for a very, 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 very long time. It's been simmering for a very long time. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen, Oguti. Uh, this thing ends agali the way ends agali ga call yabo um i just i just i'm i'm really 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 disturbed about all of this and then here we are you know in a situation where tena influential people and i'm talking about my fellow celebrities i'm talking about my fellow stars in the industry everybody's fucking quiet everybody's fucking quiet about this nobody's saying a word Nobody's saying a word, but you see them fucking releasing. Then they expect the very same people on the ground to buy their music. You see everybody doing their TV shows. They expect the very same people on the ground to watch their shows. You expect, and then and then you see them playing sports. You understand? You see them playing sports, and then you expect the very same people to watch your games. These are the very same people on the ground who are doing that today. So is Bonu Mono Nyana. I'm talking about, you see the problem that I have Fandak, right now, is I'm talking about the clever blacks. The clever blacks, boy, now that thing, you know, 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 this is cool, or they are looting, or they are doing whatever, that, fuck what you think, with they are looting or whatever. This is bound to happen, people are starving. People are starving. Oh, you're petting bulls on the back. When last did that family have food? When last did that family eat meat? I own businesses myself. My stores were looted as well. And I'm saying enough is enough. Let them steal if they have to steal. Let them do whatever. Because the government has not provided that. I'm doing myself. I'm not talking about anybody else. I mean, I'm doing myself what the government is supposed to be doing. Meaning what? I take 10% of my salary and I go and I give a certain community uhuhla. I go and I give a certain community uh, what I can possibly give from my own 10% salary. But nobody else can do that. The government is not doing that as well. The government is not doing that. So people that think they are smart and they think they've arrived and they think they want to go out there and start talking about, oh, it's wrong, oh, it's not good. Nobody's condoning looting. Nobody is condoning looting. I'm fucking disgusted about the blacks that think Kukuti have arrived, they think they are smart, and they think they're above everybody else. This is not about Zuma. This is not about anything. People are crying out. 46%, 46% of the youth is unemployed. That means that's almost 50%. That's almost 50% of the youth that's unemployed. What are we doing with that? 
What are we doing with that? I can't, I can't do everything. I can't do everything on my own. I'm not getting help from anybody. Celebrities are not doing anything. People are quiet because by now I'm an endorsement. By now I'm a tender from my government. By now I'm a contract from the government. By now I'm in, in. See now as a country, we've already been sold. So the very same people at the bottom, they must go get that food. They must go get whatever. Aba choncha is into. Then bas tata nabo. Baham baba yo tenis. It is fine. Allow them to. But all I'm saying is that, like, something has to be done. And if it means that the nation has to cry out loud, like the way Bakalanga Kona Kona Maj, then let it be so that they can hear. Kona Maj, we out here, we listening to what the president is saying. The president is not saying anything. This is not about Zuma. This is not about what what. This is not like the president is not saying anything with a solution as of seas. He's talking about soldiers going out there. He's talking about whatever. At the end of the day, if the whole society stands as one and we say enough is enough, let me ask you something. If people had jobs, if people had shelter, if that money was not eaten, do you think this would be happening? This would not be happening. It's not happening in other countries where there's enough shelter. People are actually using the money where it's supposed to be. I'm not saying there's no corruption, but even if the corruption is there, make sure, Tina, as the people out there, we are being taken care of. We are being taken care of. And influential people are not saying anything. This is what is disgusting me. This is what is disgusting me, Uguti. My friend, like, these are the same people on the lower end that are watching our shows. These are the very same people that are coming to our gigs. These are the very same people. And then Kwanamaja says Satle Ramaj, Baba Chochis into from it is came. Such as Satle Ramaj when they're going out there and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing to feed their own families. I'm not talking about Lady Malezi, Eskivela Mama Series, or Chochi Basket, Apana Woodwells, Ubli Malo. I'm talking about people that really need this thing. Like people that go out four months without water, sanitization, all the stuff. These are the things that I'm talking about. And I'm calling out to all my fellow South Africans and celebrities. Ogoti, it's time that we stand as one. Stop being punks. Stop being punks and hiding behind your fake life.